Hey guys, my name is David and welcome back to my channel. This is going to be episode 2 of Terror Mags. Now when I uploaded my first ever video, basically talking about horror magazines and why people don't talk about them, I thought I was going to do it as a one-off. I didn't really anticipate it to do well and I didn't get many comments stating specifically that they want me to do more of these videos and considering that that video did really well I thought okay I, I'll go all in and I'll make this a official series on my channel where I talk about horror magazines and comics well more magazines than comics but yeah you actually get the point well hopefully you do anyway so this is episode 2 officially of my series called Terror Max. now before I get started I've got four new um, bookmarks that are Evil Dead related and I'm so pleased with them I just wanted to show them off when I got them they were a bit bigger than I thought that they were but I still love them anyway so this is all of them they're all laminated they don't have anything on the back so you have uh, this one which is the first one I'm pretty sure that's Japanese writing and it is really good it's really good quality I love this one of um, Dead Eye Ash or um, Evil Ash from Evil Dead 2. Not sure if he has a official name, but uh, when the Deadites possess Ash at the um, start of Evil Dead 2. This is the um, skull for the official um, yeah, release or poster or whatever. Uh, of um, Evil Dead 2, which is really cool. Yeah, and I haven't got anything from Evil Dead 3. I mean, it would have been nice, but I got one for uh, Evil Dead Rise, which I think I will probably have to watch on Blu ray because, yeah, unless I want to watch it at midnight, which I'm not going to. Uh, I, I haven't seen it, but I presume that this has some reference to the movie. So that is all the bookmarks that I've got. Well, well, my new bookmarks, and I love all of them. So today's magazine we are going to be talking about is another one from the 70s, and that one is Tales of the Zombie. I have no idea what issue this is, as I'm pretty sure that it's up here, but it's got a sticker over it. But like the first one that I did, it is really, really um, detailed and the artwork is phenomenal and it does have a little corner missing here at the bottom but yeah it's from the 70s so what can you expect and this is also a Marvel monster group or a um, yeah from uh, Marvel and you may be wondering is that Marvel like um, you yeah, know the MCU Spider-Man and Captain America technically this is a part of the whole Marvel comics and that whole superhero thing even though this isn't technically a superhero mag magazine and on the back it has something really interesting it has these kind of this um thing where you can apply for courses and then I'm pretty sure it sends you this written material that you, you have to study at home so some of the um things that you could apply for to learn more about and study uh, accounting, business management, real estate, um, computer programming, music instruction, drafting, not sure what that entails, art training, law, restaurant management. Presuming that this was released and read by children, yeah, I mean, I would, I would imagine that most of them would have been interested in restaurant management. And I thought that it was kind of unusual to have this on the back of a magazine where the target audience would, would have been little kids. And it does have a copyright for 1974. So that was interesting. And as always, I will have a picture of the uh, people that were responsible for this up on the screen. Uh, just so I don't have to say one's name and potentially butcher someone's name as well So that is what you have when you open it up and this zombie character is the same one as in my 
first episodes. It has a interesting picture from the Frankenstein movie with Boris Karloff where they are robbing the graves. It has a little prologue here which I read. No, I didn't really think too much of it. Now this one has comics in it. It has two comics which I thought, okay, great. I'm going to have more comics to read. But these are exactly the same ones. Um, no different than episode one's comics were. So we got Child of Darkness, which uh, is exactly the same thing about a zombie um, creature that tries to avenge itself. You know, all that stuff. It has a, um advert for Dracula Lives. And I presume that this is a comic book series. So, yeah, I mean, if I come across them, then I will uh, check them out. And if, there are, and, if there are at, and if they're at a good price, I will. Uh, let me know if you particularly want me to um, do that and talk about the Dracula Lives, I presume, comics. But yeah, comment, comment down below and let me know what you think about that. Next, we have a section called Males to the Zombie, which I call this section Nerds Are Us. This is basically people that write to this magazine and yeah, just anything that they want. And I do not know how old these people are because it doesn't have an age for the people that wrote these messages or letters. So I have no idea whether these are little kids, teenagers or full grown men. What I will say is this section is that they do talk about comics extensively nothing gets past these people the people that read this magazine back in the day didn't miss a trick they, f they actually honed in on every single uh, reference every single picture and every single possible connection to future um, stories or future connections in the MCU or the Marvel comics with other superheroes now, there is this little letter, uh, don't worry, it's not too long, that I feel deeply connects with me as a person that likes to read. Now, I just want to read this to you. It comes from a person called Brian Prescott from West Springfield. So this is what Brian has to say. I think you should have a series about a witch in Tales of the Zombie. Perhaps you could make her a mistress of black magic. A young, lusty black woman, raised in New Orleans, would make a perfect subject for such a series. Don't make her an old, wrinkled crone. Not exciting enough. So I thought that was kind of humorous to read. Next we have a um, um, section called The Plague of the Zombies. And this opens up with kind of like a non-fiction feel. I mean, this whole uh, issue has a obsession with voodoo. Not sure if that was probably the thing back in the 70s. But at the start of it, it does have a uh, section where it implies that people from Africa that came over to the UK or England brought all their expertise of voodoo over here to England but then it uh, does a whole 180 and it talks about a hammer horror film pretty sure it's a hammer horror film called plagues of the zombies and I haven't watched any uh, hammer horror films I mean shocker uh, let me know if you have any recommendations and if I find any I will check them out or if I get a um, box set of them and it basically talks about the movie um, as a whole. Uh, it doesn't really say about the backgrounds of it or the behind the scenes. It kind of just, just talks about what the movie is all about. And then it has a advertisement of uh, take a barbarian out um, to lunch or else. And then here it says you better do what he says because he might... Uh, hurt your sister or yeah, ravage her or stuff like that and it, I'm pretty sure it's a uh, as advert for like 
horror comics, including one that's uh, called Dracula Lives. And then it has this kind of unusual uh, section here called Sugar Hill, which I presume is some sort of movie from the 70s. And uh, again, sticking with the whole voodoo theme, it has kind of like pictures. I presume that this is from a movie. Uh, and it just basically tells you about what's going on. And uh, yeah, um, it's nothing groundbreaking, but it's entertaining. And it has another section about voodoo. Uh, so yeah, wasn't anything interesting. Uh, just you know, reading it because I want to read everything in this. And this is a continuation of that article. And it has a comic of End of Legends, which as in episode one again, it's exactly the same comic. So I didn't read these comics in this edition because I've already read them. Now it has two advertisements here, one for a karate based magazine. And up here it has some sort of like weird stuff which you can sign off for and send. And some of this stuff really made me chuckle. You have a magic brain calculator. You have something called a snowstorm tablet, which basically says that it's going to um, like create a miniature snowstorm. It's going to cover an entire room presumably with fake snow, so your mum's going to love you after you've set this thing off. It describes the tablet as almost invisible because you've obviously got to see the blasted thing. Now, that's not the best thing, guys. The best thing in this is to activate it. You have to put the tablet on the ends of a lit cigarette. So going back to... I was doing kids reading this, you would have to like nick a cigarette from your dad, light the thing, put it on the end of this lit cigarette, and then watch this tablet somehow cover your whole living room with fake snow. You have a couple of guns here. You have a secret safe, which is in which is like kind of like stowed away in a book, which is interesting. You have some fake vampire blood. You have a book that is called 1001 Free Things that cost you uh, 89p. So unfortunately the book isn't one of the 1001 things that you get for free. And quite interestingly, it doesn't actually tell you what stuff you get for free. You have something called a flesh-eating plant, which is pretty much a Venus flytrap. You have a magic soap powder, which again, it's a almost invisible powder, which you put on this bar of soap. And anyone that washes themselves using this bar of soap, their face becomes, what is it? Bright red or bloody red as it describes. So your dad, it's going to punch your lights out after your mum's sent you to your room after creating a snowstorm in the living room. You have some sneezing powder. Uh, you have a secret agent cam, uh, this uh, camera, which goes in your palm and takes back several pictures. You have another article here called The Voodoo Beat. With another with a uh, kind of creepy picture there uh, you have this advertisement here for all this art presumably not in black and white uh, I mean may, maybe it was in black and white only but maybe you could get these in you know a colorized version as well oh and this is a uh, another continuation of that article that I showed you of the voodoo beat and this is all the um, like movies with, I presume, voodoo based on them. Some of them are called Madhouse, which, uh, yeah, it was a Vincent Price movie. 
Blood from the Mummy's Tomb. Sisters. The Night Evelyn Came Out of the Grave. Mummies. The Complete Book of Voodoo. And you basically have an av advertisement here. Pretty much saying, buy our magazine. Buy more of our magazines. Buy now. Buy now. And you have some advertisements here for pretty much a cardboard cutout. Well, I think no, I think it's I think it's made of polystyrene of Frankenstein and the um eyes glow in the dark. So if it is made of polystyrene, by the time this thing reaches your home through the mail, it's gonna be all beat to shit and it's not even gonna look like anything like Frankenstein. So you have to probably spend the whole day gluing it back together. And there's also a um kind of a version to get a skeleton also with its eyes glowing in the dark which probably didn't sell many of them most most people probably want to go for frankenstein you have a interesting article here about medical ha handicaps as well i can't remember the full ins and ins and outs of it but it does sound did sound really interesting then you have a uh, advertisement here for a book about sideshow oddities and you have a advertisement here for karate lessons uh, you don't go to an actual place to do this what it is they send you a uh i think that it's a vinyl like a, a which you just listen to and there's a book with you know still images which you pretty much you have to listen to our cd or records and look at the book and just do what we tell you to do i presume back in the day when this was released VHS's or videotapes were around so if that is the case I mean god knows why they didn't send you a video of this person doing all this stuff so that's it guys that is uh, the uh, tales of the zombie let me know if you have heard about this one uh, let me know what you thought about this video as a whole I've got a bunch of dark side magazines which I am going to get to eventually I've just got a couple of the 70s magazines to get through first let me know if there are any other horror magazines which you read and you want me to talk about. I know some people brought up a couple of uh, different titles in my first video. So if there are any magazines which you want me to read which are horror based, let me know down below in the comments. And if I can find them on eBay and they don't cost an arm and a leg, then I will get some and I can talk about it on this series. So thank you for watching and I will see you on my next video.